For the next step in the goal setting process, you'll set three short-term goals. Research has clearly shown that having one to three solid short-term goals works extremely well. Increasing the amount of goals beyond that point, however, tends to reduce the amount of goals that will actually be accomplished. In other words, if we have three goals at the same time, we may actually reach all three of them. If we have 10 goals at the same time, we probably won't achieve any of them as each goal takes focus from the others. This is known as the law of diminishing intent. So our focus in these next three steps is to create a single goal for each of the top value areas you listed in the last step. For instance, here, education was the top value and we're going to build a goal for that top value. We're going to create goals for three values. You have three top values, one goal for each value. Now, these goals must be realistic. Having a goal of earning $10 million in the next 90 days when I'm working at a car wash with no other means of income is probably not realistic. The goal will be designed to stretch you, not break you, or set you up for failure. The short-term goals we're working on here will be reached between three months and six months from now. This goal is set for six months from today, today being uh, December 31st. They will be specific and measurable. Unlike your top values, which have no end date and are mostly subjective, for instance, education, your goals will have objective measures like reaching a specific weight, obtaining a certain job, traveling to certain locations, completing a certain number of workouts, and so forth. If you want some ideas about what they might look like, if you hover over the help icon, you'll see several that can give you an idea of how this might work. This is one that we've put here, which is score in the high 90s across all of your upper division major classes this semester. And so that will happen by 6-1 of 2022. Progress on these goals will be tracked in a tracking system that will help you consistently understand how well you're approaching them and allow you to make adjustments, pick up the pace, or solve problems around your obstacles. One suggestion is that you develop goals that you believe will most effectively help you to live according to your highest values. If you do this, you'll be able to create huge value in the stage of your personal alignment process and significantly improve your chances of achieving these goals.